help. Mm -hmm. So you see they are ashamed, they beg off to forgiveness, they still fight against the demons. <coughs> but everyone will get onto this boat and here Karen is going to take them to hell. Where in front of the gate of hell, Minos is waiting. Now, Minos was for the Greeks the god of the underworld, but for Michelangelo, this guy was simply the private secretary of the Pope. <laughs> he was a cardinal, his name was Biagio da Cesena, he was Michelangelo's worst enemy, he hated the artist and the artist hated him back. So one day, Michelangelo took his revenge because this guy criticized him all of his life, and so one night he painted the face of Biagio on Minos's body, putting on his head a nice pair of donkey ears, so he was an idiot, and around his body painted a snake that goes all the way around and then bites. Please, <laughs> <laughs> those who are under 18, close your eyes. Now, this guy was a little bit angry, can you imagine, when he found himself there? And complained with the Pope, but apparently the Pope said, I'm so sorry, Michelangelo put you there in front of hell. But you know, I have friends in heaven, I don't know anybody down here. And so you are here, and there you will be here. And he's been talking about it. Now, when the artist died, 1564, another artist who came after called Volterra was asked to cover the naked bodies by painting on them some pieces of cloth. And that's why this guy in Italian got the nickname Il Braghettone. That sounds literally in English like Mr. Under. Pants. <laughs> he painted the underpants that were removed with the last restoration, but some are still there. Check this out. That's the brand new spring summer collection. <laughs> now, the restoration of this old thing took 15 years. Seven for this, which he painted in four, eight for this, which he painted in five. So, what you will see is really the work of art of a man whose hand was guided by God. And now, I need your complete attention for a minute, and then I promise we move to shade. You see this one more time, this is the Sistine Chapel. When we are at the entrance of the chapel, I'm going to give you time to relax, sit down, there is air conditioning before we enter, if you need the bathroom, there is a cafeteria, if you want to go and have a coffee, a snack, a water, whatever. So where do we meet? Please, look at this one more time. You see this grate? Mm -hmm. And you see there is a balcony here. Mm -hmm. I will say to you, meet me under the balcony by the grate. Okay? So this is our meeting point. I'm showing it here because at the entrance of the chapel they tend to like you know send people in without giving us enough time to be clear. So I'd rather spend one more minute here. So by the balcony, okay? okay. Under the balcony by the grate. It is essential, my friends, that you do not exit the chapel without me for any reason. Because there are two exits. And if you take the wrong one, you get lost. Which is not a possibility, it's sure a hundred percent. And on top of that, you miss the visit of the church, which is a shame. Number one, it's very beautiful. Number two, you paid for it. Right? Okay, so where do we meet in the Sistine Chapel? Can you go out on your own? No. What happens if you do? Is that my fault? No. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. that's the question I was waiting. I didn't say what time because it depends how long it takes us to get to the chapel. Okay. If it is empty, it will take us less than if it is crowded, okay? But it was to see where, when, I will say later. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Those are the feet of Jonas here. Okay. It's from the ceiling. Oh, okay. Jonas and the whale. Obviously, this other whale is a very big fish okay. because Michelangelo had never seen a whale in his life. <laughs> <laughs>